I'm back with a tutorial on how I made my cow ears. Uh, first off, I'm going to cut out an outline of the pattern on some craft foam. And then I'm going to go ahead and mark where we're going to be folding over the ear um, and go ahead and outline that all with some wire, including that little spot where you're going to fold over the ear, um, leaving some, I want to say about like two to three inches of wire at the very edges where you were going to attach it to the headband. And then I went ahead and hot glued all that down to the very edges when I was happy with the shape. Next up, you're going to glue all of that to another piece of craft foam um, with just some hot glue and go ahead and once you press that down, go ahead and trim off any excess so you have a really good shape for the cow ears. I also went in and just made sure to glue down any edges that I've missed or trim any excess that I missed at the very edges. Next up, you're going to take some fur. It's just short fa fur fabric. I'm not sure the technical term, but as you can see when you Google that, a lot of results come up, including pattern ones like the cow pattern, the leopard print, and then just solid fabrics as well. And then I went ahead and um, transferred the shape onto the fur, making sure to leave, uh, I want to say about a fourth inch, if not more, all around the edges, especially the bottom. That's really important. And then right sides together I went ahead and pinned it to another piece of fabric it doesn't have to be neat just make sure there's enough that you can go ahead and sew around the edges we're gonna trim that off later but just make sure that it's enough for the time being and I went ahead and sewed along all of the lines that I had drawn on the fabric earlier leaving obviously the bottom open though for where we put in the, um, the foam core and we turn it inside out. I went ahead and then trimmed off all the excess, but I did leave a fourth of an inch at the bottom. That's really important because um, at the end you're going to need that, otherwise you won't have enough fabric to fully cover the foam. Then go ahead and turn it inside out, kind of press the edges out so that it has the right shape. And then you are going to actually glue it section by section to the foam core. Um, it's really important to be patient, take your time with this step just because it's really easy to mess up. Um, if you go ahead and try and do it all at once, I guarantee you, you will mess it up. I'm talking from experience, don't do it. But um, I just kind of went in for a little like half inch at a time and kind of just worked my way down, making sure to, that everything was smooth and flat, nothing was um, wrinkled. And then as you can see as we're getting to the bottom, you'll see that that fourth of an inch at the bottom was kind of really important since uh, we did end up using all of it with very little excess. Um, then I just kind of closed up the bottom. And you have your base now for whatever ear you like. Uh, it's pretty much the same technique I use for most ears. And then for the coloring, I recommend an airbrush if you have it, but I do not have one. So I'm going to go ahead and use some watercolors for the light pastel-y colors, specifically the pink in this. But if you did have other colors in there, like you want to do a pink strawberry cow instead of the black and white one, you could use that. And then for the black, since it is a little bit more saturated, I went ahead and used an acrylic that I mixed with water so that it was a little bit watery. And I just made all little spots. I really recommend using an airbrush if you have one or buying pattern fabric if you can because um, this really didn't turn out as nicely as I like but it is a like cheap nice alternative for if you want a basic ear with, uh, without having to break your bank or anything like that. It's definitely not as nice as luxury ears though you can buy anywhere, but I am not a professional ear maker. This is just how I like to make mine. I am a cheap cosplayer. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Once you paint all the pieces on, you're gonna wanna let it fully dry. I kind of just left it overnight and came back to it the next day. Um, this is kind of important because you really don't wanna accidentally smudge any of the paint, especially when you're using black and white, and then that'll just make the white for gray. Um, so just make sure to like let it dry fully. And then, yeah. Once it's fully dry, you're gonna go in and kind of loosen up all the acrylic paint since it will kind of mat down the fur and make it kind of crispy. You can even use a brush for this. You'll notice that it will get lighter um, since it did dry a little bit lighter. So I went in with a Sharpie and kind of lighten those up, but make sure after the Sharpie to let it dry once again. Next up, we're gonna make the shape. Um, using the wire to first kind of fold it over and then you're gonna go ahead and actually sew it down. I let you could glue it but I felt like it wasn't really strong enough by itself so I went ahead and just sewed it. Um, keep in mind though yeah, you are probably gonna destroy the needle <laughs> because you are sewing through several layers of hot glue, craft foam, and fur. My needle was just completely bent and uh, unusable after this but it worked for both ears, so you know what? I'm happy with it. <laughs> then you're gonna go ahead and reinforce the inside with a little bit of hot glue. Um, and then I like to do this as optional, but you can take some longer faux fur and kind of cut it into a little like shape that fits as like a nice little tuff of fur. Uh, it kind of adds to the realism a little bit. It is optional, but I like it because it kind of gives it more of the shaved hair look. And I'm terrible at shaving fur, so I really like that. I thought that was cute. Next up, you're going to attach them to the headbands using their wires. It's really simple. You're just going to fold it over a couple of times. I apologize for this shot. I did not realize I was so out of shot for all of this. <laughs> but you're basically wrapping it around, I want to say, twice, maybe three times cutting off the excess and then making sure the sharp edge is kind of tucked away into the ear so that it doesn't poke you at all. If you're using a metal headband for this, um, the wire makes it really nice and repositionable, um, but with the plastic one, just make sure you get the position right the first time because I found that it was really hard to kind of move those up and down on the plastic. Lastly, while, we, while I go ahead and attach the second ear, I was just going to go over how I made my horns since I am not going to actually include that in the tutorial. Um, but they're basically just insulation foam covered with gesso. They're really simple. You just carve it with like a X-Acto knife or anything, a boss cut or anything like that, and then cover it with several layers of gesso, which is sandable. And then just to hot glue those onto the headband. And then that's how I made the other ones. Um, which I'll show in just a second. Yeah, those guys right there. <laughs> well, anyways, that's the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed doing this look. It's honestly probably one of my favorite looks to date. Um, but yeah, but thank you for stopping by. <laughs>